With the fall semester quickly approaching, teachers still have many questions about the what the year will look like as students return to learn. Thanks for spending your Friday with us. I'm Deborah Kendrick. My co-anchor, Lucas, has the night off. ABC 17's Amber Tabling spoke with the president of the Columbia Teachers Union tonight. She joins us live. And Amber, one of the concerns is how will teachers use the classrooms to hopefully stop the spread of COVID-19? Deb, that along with one of the biggest questions that's been on everyone's mind, what will classes look like? I also spoke with the local health department to try to get some answers to these questions. Seating arrangements, mask enforcement, and what classes will look like, whether it be in person, online, or hybrid, are some of the frequently asked questions Steinhoff says she's received from teachers. Another uh, big question I'm getting is what happens if I have to quarantine because maybe a student has been diagnosed with COVID, so I'm quarantining, but since many of us teach multiple classes, then who teaches my other classes if I have to be at home? I asked local health department officials about this concern. He said teachers need to try to keep students as far apart from each other as they possibly can and not within six feet of each other for more than 15 minutes. The other thing is have assigned seats, keep, keep good records of that so that if there is a positive case in that area, we'll, we'll know which uh, kids were potentially impacted and, and perhaps, you know, it's not even the entire classroom. It would just be the ones within six feet of that individual. Steinhoff said teachers are very concerned about the protocols that are in place if a student has symptoms, but the student's family chooses not to test them. If you're somebody who is, you know, the wage earner in your family and you have got to get to work and if your child seems well enough to go back to school, it really doesn't behoove them personally to do that. And so that is a concern of ours because it could really have a negative impact on our school community and our community at large. Now, Clardy also recommends that the school do what the health department has done this whole time. Stay home if you're sick and also plan ahead and have a plan set in place for if your student does become sick. Live in Columbia, Amber Tabling, ABC 17 News. Okay, thank you, Amber. The local health department tells us it does not have a set answer as to how many cases in a school until it would recommend strictly online or remote learning. The department says the size of school districts across the county differ.